hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm showing how we can make a single usb for booting multiple operating systems so let's search for ventoy it is a open source software which is being used for um, booting multiple os in a single usb without formatting and um, writing it again and again so let's download the file ventoy.net is the website and go to the downloads and download the windows version which will be which will be a zip file it will take us to github that's fine you just need to download the zip file again from this github and after that you can just extract the folder let's extract to downloads and let's find it in the downloads Mm, come find it okay ventoy let's search for ventoy okay ventoy and let's install the application find the exe file executable file and choose the plug your usb at this point if it doesn't find you just need to plug it again and refresh there is a green refresh button there and after you chose the device or the usb drive uh, you can just install the application so basically what happens um, just go with at least 32 GB or 64 GB or more because if you have multiple OS like the OS ISO files will be like 5 GB or 4 GB like this so 32 GB or 64 GB is recommended and let's update the Ventoy as well for the if there is any updates we will continue to update the software as well now it's updating the OS. Congratulations, window has been successfully updated to this device. Okay, so basically, what happened? We have installed the Ventoy on um, the drive itself, which means you can copy your ISO files to this particular uh, USB drive, and you can um, just copy this one and paste it to the uh, USB drive. And when you are booting this, um, booting your Booting using this particular uh, USB drive or flash drive, then you will be able to uh, boot multiple OS files. So, so I'm copying both the OS files. Let's wait for it to finish. As you can see now, I can um, boot whether for Windows 7 and Windows 10 using my Ventoy because I already have copied both the OS files or the, both the ISO files. You can also try with Ubuntu and other OS files. Thank you for watching.